in this in this video we will start discuss two point sources with currents of equal magnitude and same phase of equal magnitude and same phase so now we will discuss regarding first case one what is this case one two point sources Two point sources with currents of equal magnitude and same phase and same space. Okay. So now drawing the diagram, let us consider this is A, A2. So this is current element A1. This is current element to two, two point sources. Okay. So these two point sources are separated by a distance of D. Okay. These two point sources are separated by a distance of point. Let us consider this is the origin. Let us consider this is origin. So A1 is taken at negative side and A2 is taken at positive side. Let us take this point P. P is the point of observation. Okay. P is point of observation. Okay. Now tell me which, which signal will reach to the point P earlier. Automatically, the power radiated from A2 will reach to the point P and A1 will reach point P a little bit later. Okay. A little bit uh, later. Okay. So the signal from point 1. Okay. So if you draw like this. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> here consider two point sources A1 and A2 separated by distance T and supplied with equal current and same phase. Okay, so the radiation from A2, the radiation from point A2 will reach us the point P uh, earlier than point A1. Okay, uh, so this is due to path difference. This is due to path difference. Okay, so that is due to path difference. This is due to path difference. A to reaches earlier than A. This is due to path difference. So due to path difference. Okay. So there. What is the path difference? The difference is D. If you take here. Theta. So if I draw like this, what is the extra distance? It, and this A1 want to travel. This is the extra distance it want to go. The extra distance is D cos theta. The extra distance is D cos theta. That D cos phi. Okay, therefore, the path difference. Path difference. And the extra traveled by A1 is D cos theta. So next term, the path difference expressed in wavelength. Next one is the path difference expressed in wavelength is equal to d cos theta by lambda. D cos theta by lambda. So we know that the relationship between phase difference and path difference. Phase difference is equal to <coughs> phase difference is equal to 2 pi times of path difference. 2 pi times of path difference. 2 pi times of path difference. Therefore, 2 pi into what is the value of path difference? Path difference is this one. T cos theta by lambda. Okay, so 2 pi in this I can write it as 2 pi by lambda into T cos theta. We know that beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda. Therefore, phase difference, phase difference is equal to phase difference equal to S psi. It is equal to beta t cos theta. So this phase difference is due to distance. This phase difference is due to distance. Okay. Now, now let the even is the even is the field field strength at point A one. Even is field strength 
a two, a one, and e two is field strength at a two. A1 is field strength at A1 and E2 is field strength at E2. Okay. Uh, now, then the resultant field, the resultant field. So, at, uh, at this point P, at this point P, we will get both the radiation due to A1 as well as A2. So, the resultant field at point P is the resultant field of the, the resultant field strength. At point P is point of observation. Point P is E T is equal to E one plus E two. E T is equal to E one plus E two. Okay. So I can write it as E T or E E. I can write it as E one as if it is uh, towards the negative tail. A E one is negative tail one and E one A two is positive tail one and it is middle. I can write it as E naught into e to the power of minus j psi by 2 plus E naught into e to the power of j psi by 2. Here the magnitudes are equal. What is our condition? Here the magnitudes are equal and places are same. Okay. So therefore, the total electrical field E T is equal to if I take E naught to the power, so e power minus j psi by 2 plus e to the power of j psi by 2. So what is the formula for e power? Uh, j theta by 2 plus e power minus j theta by 2. So it is 2 e naught into cos of psi by 2. Okay. So therefore, it is equal to 2 e naught into cos of what is the value of psi? The value of psi is beta d cos theta. The value of psi is beta d cos theta. So it is beta d cos theta by 2. So the electrical field, the resultant electrical field due to two point sources of equal magnitude and same phase is given as this one. ED is equal to 2 e naught into cos of beta d cos theta by 2. Okay. So this is the resultant one. This is the resultant one. So for this, the same array factor, the same array factor Error factor is defined as is defined as the ratio of the ratio of magnitude of resultant field to the magnitude of the magnitude of maximum field. The maximum field. Okay. So the array factor, array factor AF is equal to mod by ET max. ET max. So what is the value of A? ET? It is 2 e naught into cos beta B cos theta by by what is its maximum value? Maximum value is 2 e naught. So 2 e naught. Therefore, under the form of the array factor, it is cos of theta d cos theta by So this is the form of the array factor for two point sources, equal magnitude and same space. Equal magnitude and same space. Okay. So for this condition, let us consider uh, uh -huh, in which direction for these two point sources. Of these two point sources of equal magnitude, equal magnitude and same phase and same phase. Let us see in which direction we will get uh, maximum lobes, minor lobes, offset lobes in which direction. Okay. So now first we will derive for maximum maximum direction. Let us see in which direction if you give the uh, excitation like this equal man for the two current elements. If you provide equal magnitude and same phase, let us see in which direction you get the maximum direction. Okay, so what is the uh, um, no, maximum direction means 
there the maximum radiation is one. Okay. So the error factor is the error factor cos of beta d cos theta by 2. That is equal to maximum radiation is we get plus 1. Okay. So let d is equal to lambda by 2. Let d is equal to lambda by 2. So simply substitute cos. What is the value of beta? 2 pi by lambda into lambda by 2 into cos theta by 2. A lambda lambda will get cancel. 2 2 will get cancel. That is equal to plus or minus 1. That is cos of pi by 2 cos theta is equal to plus or minus 1. So I am applying cos inverse on both sides. If I apply cos inverse on both sides, pi by 2 cos theta is equal to cos inverse of uh, plus or minus 1. That is equal to plus or minus n pi, where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, so on. Okay. Now let us consider when n is equal to 0. When n is equal to 0. Okay, so when n is equal to 0, so what happened? Cos pi by 2 cos theta max okay, is equal to 0. Therefore, cos pi max is equal to 0. So pi max is equal to 0 means what is the value of pi max? Pi max is nothing but applying cos and on both sides. 90 degrees and 270 degrees. So, for two point sources, for two point sources, for a two point sources with the equal magnitude and same phase, uh, we we'll get the maximum radiation in, for example, this is 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees. The maximum radiation be in this direction if the current elements are fed with equal magnitude and same phase. Okay. Similarly, let us check the minimum direction. Let us check the minimum direction. Let us check the minimum. The same condition. Here in the previous case, you have equated to plus one. Mm, since because in the in the previous case you have equated it to the maximum radiation you have equated it to plus one okay so for minimum radiations you want to equate that to uh, zero so the condition is cos of beta d cos theta by two is equal to plus or minus zero let d is equal to lambda by two cos of two pi by lambda into lambda by two to cos theta by 2 is equal to plus or minus 0, lambda lambda cancel, 2 to get cancel. So that is equal to cos of pi by 2 cos theta is equal to 0. So I am applying, applying cos inverse on both sides, applying cos inverse on both sides. So if I apply cos inverse on both sides, pi by 2, here, here you, you are deriving for minimum value, for minimum direction, okay. You are deriving for minimum direction. So, theta minimum is equal to uh, plus or minus 2m plus 1 pi by 2. Where m is equal to, here m is equal to 0, 2, 3, 4, so at 2mr, 2n. I can take it as 2mr, 2n, where n is equal to 0, okay. So, let the, for n is equal to, Zero. Now what happened when in this equation let n is equal to zero? Pi by two cos I'm sorry cos theta minimum is equal to um, plus or minus if n is equal to zero will get pi by two. So pi by two pi by two will get cancel cos of theta minimum is equal to plus or minus one. Applying cos in on both sides. Applying cos in on both sides we get pi minimum is equal to uh, cos inverse of plus or minus one that is nothing but zero degrees or 180 degrees or pi theta minimum is equal to uh, zero degrees means for the same magnitude and the same phase the minimum means the maximum radiation between um, 90 degrees and 270 we don't get any radiation in theta is equal to 0 degrees and 180 degrees. So this is the condition for 
minimum disimpan di sempat minimum direction di sempat minimum direction similarly we can go for half power p bit okay so similarly third third uh, third one similarly we can calculate half power point half power point direction half power point direction so what is the definition for the half power when the electrical field has fallen to one by root two time so the condition is cos of beta d cos theta by two is equal to plus or minus one by root two plus or minus one by root two let d is equal to lambda by two substituting you get cos pi by two cos theta is equal to plus or minus one by root two so applying cos inverse on both sides applying cos inverse on both sides okay pi by two cos theta is equal to cos inverse of <coughs> uh, that is plus or minus un plus one pi by four where n is equal to zero one two okay so here let us take for n is equal to zero. So pi by two cos theta of power a point is equal to plus or minus pi by four. Okay. From this pi by two we get pi by one by two. Okay. Applying cos inverse, we get theta of half power point is equal to 60 degrees or 120 degrees. Okay. okay. So on this figure, okay. So let us try here. For two point sources, for two point or two element sources with equal currents, equal currents of Currents of equal magnitude and same phase, same phase, the maximum direction, maximum directions is in 90 degrees and 270 degrees. Next, minimum direction. Minimum direction is in 0 degrees and 180 degrees. And similarly, half power beam width is direction is in 60 degrees and 120 degrees. Okay, now let us draw this diagram for two point sources. Okay, this is theta is equal to 0 degrees, 90 degrees, uh, 180 degrees. This is 270. Degrees. Okay, so maximum radiation, maximum radiation is along 90 degrees and 270 degrees. Okay, and the half power point, half power points are in between 60 degrees and 120 degrees. These are nothing but half power points. Half power. So there is no radiation in 0 degrees and 180 degrees. This is nothing but if you provide any two current element sources with equal magnitude and same phase, it is nothing, it is equal to an broadside array. It is equal to an broadside array. Okay, broadside 